Oh my goodness. That was like the millionth video I'm going to be posting or doing, but I can't stop laughing at how stupid Chase haters are like, are on, if you've been on NASCAR on Fox's Instagram and they posted like a IG video, whatever, um, where it says Denny Hamlin wins and Chase Elliott moves on. So many people are pitch whining and make so many damn excuses over Chase making it to the next round over Brad. They just look for ways to be negative people. Here's one. Chase Elliott is only there because his dad is rich. Work for something. Brad is 50 times better. 50 times the driver chases. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And here we go. Brad, Joey, and Chase were all in a dogfight for the last spots. Let's only put the spotlight on Chase for marketing everyone at NASCAR. <laughs> People are so stupid. Oh, and then people were like, seven other drivers advanced too. I'm like, I made this point, like, realize the seven others weren't in a dog fight for that final spot. Like, basically, see, Larson and Blaney were locked in. Kyle Busch is basically locked in. Truex was locked in, basically. Harvick was safe, but he was irrelevant all day. And the gun always somehow made it through. I'm coming two laps down magically. Thanks, NASCAR, for that. And um, so the dogfight was basically between like Brad Logano and Chase. So other seven drivers, irrelevant. So people just love to bitch and complain about Chase because he's the most popular driver and people act like he's like NASCAR puts him on a pedestal. I'm like, no. It's it's pretty pathetic. I'm sorry. And people are like complaining that making making these stupid excuses. Like Chase forgot to thank NASCAR for helping him advance. How did NASCAR exactly help him advance? I don't understand how he advanced, like, like advanced because of NASCAR. He advanced because Brad had a sucky car there at the end. Two, Chase picked up more spots and Brad lost spots there at the end. So, hmm, not sure how. And so I was like, Chris lost, got screwed. No, he screwed himself. Um, and here we go, Salty. Logano fan, all Penske fans today have been really obnoxious. It says, such bullshit, NASCAR would rewrite its rule book to benefit Chase Elliott. It's unbelievable how much the media of NASCAR wanted him to advance, even though he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have? And yet he did, because he outraced your Penske driver and scored more points. Hmm. Again, how did this be like these rules and cautions benefit Chase in any way? Denny Hamlin pretty much owned the last half of that race, so there was no really no beating Hamlin. None of these cautions benefited Chase at all, like none whatsoever. So I'm not entirely sure why they it's like. They just love to make up so much bullshit to get what they... I just don't get it. It's so obnoxious, dude. It's so 
how freaking hilarious how salty these Penske fans have been all day. I can't even. These people are pathetic, dude. I can't help but laugh at the stupidity of these haters. They just say the most obnoxious crap ever. People just love to hate Chase for just no reason because they think NASCAR is just on on his at like put him on a pedestal and they don't. Yep, here we go. Chase Elliot like getting put on a pedestal for mediocre driving. Where's where was the mediocre driving? He was making moves other drivers weren't. Finished second from starting fourteenth, and was in the top five and top ten all day long. So, where is the mediocre driving? He has three wins this season. Three. Three. So I'm not sure how that indicates how it's like with the the dad thing, it's like, okay. Clearly don't understand <clears throat> family ties to racing. Blaney has family ties to racing. Uh Earnhardt has family ties to racing. Dylan has Dylan brothers have family ties to racing. All these other people have family ties to racing. You want to complain about them too? No one complains about Blaney and his dad. But it's all about Chase, right? Because he's the most popular driver. Who, in my opinion, has a little bit more talent than some of the other young drivers out there right now. What other young driver today has wrecked and came back to win the race in less than 45 laps? From 37th position, basically last, driving through the field. So... People just love to hate, just to hate, for no reason whatsoever. It's like, hi, you guys don't give a valid reason to dislike him. You just dislike him based on a name. Not, I'm, I'm kind of baffled at this point. Um... They just just make excuses just to make excuses. And if their driver doesn't win and Chase does or that does better than them, it's like not a good reason to dislike him. You just dislike him because he advanced over your driver or he beats your driver. And you act like he's put on this pedestal because he's the most popular driver. No. People act like, like, oh, they threw that caution super quick at the, there at the end. It benefited Chase. I'm like, where did it benefit Chase? Where? I don't understand where it benefited Chase. So, I'm a little confused on all this hate towards Chase and him advancing. Cause, and I just want to say, I proved a lot of people wrong saying he would make it uh, five points. Even if he didn't win, he would make it in five points. Because everyone was like, oh, he's going to not make it in on points. He has to be in a must win. I'd like, not necessarily. I said, if one of the Penske, like both the Penske drivers had issues, or at least one of them, he would make it in. And look what happened. One of the Penske drivers fell out. Because he had a sucky end of that race. So, um... But yes, let's just say he's mediocre because he has six career wins in the last year. Most of them, a lot of them came in like dominating fashion. Like, 
both Watkins Glen races. Roval. And Dega too. So I'm just trying to prove points here. The haters that seem to don't don't get it that his dad is like a mentor to him. He doesn't like just go and like pay for everything that he, he did throughout his life and Chase was doing the racing. He didn't have things handed to him on a silver platter like some people assume. He fought and clawed his way up to the Cup Series. Even though, yes, he does have a, the last name, he still fought his way up because at the end of 2013, he did not have a sponsor for the Xfinity Series with JRM. And that's the year, same year that Napa, like, fell off of like the wall trip like like a wall trip racing with Truex so they and they still wanted to be part of the NASCAR series so they jumped on board with Chase at the last minute and then Chase went on from there and showed what he was made of so but people still don't want to admit that he's a good driver just based on who he is and who his dad is. So it is what it is. People can't, you can't change stupid or change their minds. So, um, anyway, uh, I could have got a better deal. What? Okay. Anyway, um, so we're moving on to Martinsville. Round of eights locked in. Two drivers, like, well, three drivers locked in on wins. Obviously, um, Larson, Blaney, and Denny all locked in on win, but Denny didn't really have to win because he's already like pretty secure in points, but he won anyway. Um, he's on a roll this year, so I'm kind of thinking he might win the championship, but we'll see. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, round of eight. So those three advance, Logano. Chase, um, Bush, I'm like having a brain fart here, so Larson, Blaney, Hamlin, okay, Truex, Bush, Chase, Logano, Who is my head hurts, <laughs> um, I'm having a freaking brain fart here. <laughs> I just, my head hurts right now. I, I saved the picture. I don't even know. Give me a second. Okay. Bush. Truex, Hamlin, Logano, Harvick. That was the one I forgot. Harvick, Chase, Larson, and Blaney. That's pretty much the lineup. Like, after points reset. So, Chase is only six points out from fourth. Harvick is two points out. But Harvick hasn't... He, he's been really quiet as of late. He hasn't done much in the playoffs from what I've seen. Just... I honestly don't think he has the speed or like the consistency to make it to the net, to the final four. And Larson, I I don't see it either. Like, yeah, he has a win, but it took him so long just to get a win. But that's a lot of points to. I think it's a lot of points to make up, in my opinion. And Blaney. He's just been all over the place as of late. Like with his finishes, yes, he won at Talladega, but I feel like anyone can win there if you miss like the big ones and all that. So um, I'm not taking, like, I'm not discrediting his win or anything, but I'm just saying anyone can really win at Talladega if you're given the chance to and the position. Um, and he is, ooh, I want to say. Uh, 
Give me a second. I know, I'm all over the place today. Okay, here we go. Um, Blaney is... So, Harvick is below the cut line by two. Um, I, I still don't understand how Bush has more points over Denny Hamlin right now. Because Bush has not won in the playoffs yet. Denny has won and won a stage. Not entirely sure why he's only nine above the cut line and nine behind his teammate. Doesn't make any sense. But, so, it goes Bush, Truex, Hamlin, Logano, and then in fifth is Harvick by two. Chase is six below the cut line, which is doable. Um, Larson is 19 below the cut line, and Blaney is 21. So, It's pretty cl- There's, like, no one, like, super locked for Homestead. Like, no one's locked right now. Like, points are, like, super close, in my opinion, between, like, first through sixth place, like, from Kyle Busch to Chase, the points are, like, super close. So, um, it's anyone's game right now. So, anyone, like, down here could win. And be like, boom, push everyone else down. And screw things up for everyone else. So, um, but with a not, if a non-playoff driver wins, it's like, we don't know how that would shake things up. So, um, but Martinsville, Chase runs really well at Martinsville. Um, so is Denny Hamlin. Um, Blaine is not that great at Martinsville. And I don't think Larson is either. Harvick is so-so. Magano, he's proven he can win there. So watch out for him, Chase, and um, Denny Hamlin. To one of those three to win at Martinsville. Or Brad. Brad could win too, and he just got knocked out. But that's a play. He doesn't have to have the consistency. So um, It's crazy how many wins Toyota has this year. 16 wins this season. 4 to 9 Chevrolet has 7. But at least we have 7 this year. Last year we only had, what, 4? <laughs> so, we're making gains. And people say that Camaro sucks. No, it doesn't. Um, but I like this round. Martinsville coming up. I like, I love a love-hate relationship with Martinsville. And then we go to Texas. Not a big fan of Texas, but I still want to go there to see a race. Just say I did it. And then Phoenix, my home track. I can't wait to go and meet some drivers because I'll be in the infield. Um, hopefully I can meet some of the other Hendrick drivers since I've already met Chase, but I'll want to see Chase again. Um, I want to meet Byron again. I want to meet Bowman. I want to meet Jimmy. I want to meet Alex. So any one of those guys would be great. So, um, just add to my list of drivers that I've met already. It's like I met Chase, Blaney, Harvick, Newman, um, Todd Gilliland, William Byron, um, Austin Dillon, and others. I just can't remember. Um, anyway, so anyone can really win and get into the round of four because no one is a freaking lock right now. Like Bush right now, I say this with his mouth because he has not won in 18 races and that makes me happy because he has not won in the playoffs yet. And um, I just want to keep this one less streak going. Um, So it's nice seeing his teammates beat him in the playoffs like Truex once, twice. Denny Hamlin has won once. <laughs> so it makes me happy. Um, 
And Chase still has, like, the most wins in the playoffs in the last two years. So, um, I'm pretty excited about that myself. Um, we got three young guns in the round of eight right now. We got Chase, we got Larson, and we got Blaine. Chase being the youngest of that, the trio. Um, I believe Larson is the oldest out of those three, too. So, um, but... I don't see Blaney making the next, like, the final four or Larson. I don't even see Harvick making it either. So, my picks for the final four would be Bush, because I think he'll point his way in. I don't think he'll win any of these races, but Truex, Ham, mm, I say Hamlin, and it's going to be between, like, Chase or Logano. See, I don't know. It's hard to say because Logano's really good at Martinsville, and um, it's hard to say with Texas too. So, but with the way Chase has run at Martinsville recently, I think Chase would pull it off over Logano. So I say the final four in my mind is Bush, Truex, Hamlin, and Chase. Not just because I'm, I'm not saying to you just because I'm a fan, but like from a, just a f- outside perspective, the way he has run at Martinsville as of late, he has a better shot at um, winning this race next week over Logano. I know Logano won this race last year, but I feel like Chase has a better shot at it over Logano. But we gotta watch out for Denny and Logano anyway, so. Because Spencey seems to run really well at Martinsville. Like, in the spring, Chase uh, was runner-up to Brad at Martinsville. And, like, he was just right there on Brad's tail the entire day and just couldn't get by him. But um, I have a feeling that's going to change. Um... We do run really well there, so I'm not too concerned about this round. This is the third straight year Chase has made it to the round of eight, and I'm super excited, um, and I can't wait for Phoenix. Um, so that means just a few more weeks, and I'm at my home track, and I'm back at the racetrack. Uh, it feels like it's been forever, but I went to Vegas, had a great time there. Chase ran well there, so um, I'm excited. I need a, and tomorrow is my birthday, so um, I may or may not be on social media tomorrow. Um, if you want to leave me a happy birthday in the comments, I would love it. Um, and just take a guess, like how old I'm gonna be. Most people won't ever, won't get it right because if you don't know me, you don't realize how old I am. So, um, and again, like for my personal life, it's like. Right now, up in the air, and um, with work, it's just, I'm making a decision about work, and I'm not saying anything about it, but within the next couple weeks, again, as I said before, I'm, I'll be in a better headspace in possibly the next couple weeks or so, so, um, all right, I just, I need to get off of here, I've been ranting for too long. I caught up with everything. My Chargers still find ways to lose, right? Oh, lose, but somehow the Cardinals have won three straight, and we've lost three straight. So I'm kind of like in a. And apparently, refs don't like us because we had two touchdowns taken away from us, two in a row. If they didn't take away those damn touchdowns, we would have won that freaking game against the Titans. We say we lost to Pittsburgh Titans and the freaking. Broncos in Houston. No, we've lost four. We've lost four in a row. My head hurts. <laughs> oh my god. My head hurts. So um, I'm gonna get off of here. Um, just enjoy the rest of my night. Probably watch some Netflix. I don't know. You charge my phone because about to die. And um, my headache finally went away. So it was a caffeine headache, and I'm not sure why, but I got some water, 
Tomorrow I'm going to go get up, go to the gym with my mom, go get my free drink from Dutch Bros. I want to go get pedicures and may, I may get some manicure. I don't even know. But, um, and go get some food. I just have a chill day. I don't do much for my birthday. So just having this time with my mom or just family in general is more important than going out and partying and doing whatever. So, um, I'm excited about tomorrow. I get the next two days off. I was supposed to have the whole weekend off, but it was, I offered to work today and today was just a shit show. And I'm like, okay, felt like today just went on forever. Um, opening is never fun for me. So, um, but anyway, I'm done for now until something else happens and people begin to bitch and complain some more about Jesus. So, um, I've, I just had a brain fart, but anyway, have a good night. Have a good rest of your week. If anything comes up, I'll update you, but it's going to be a busy week for me because I'm working from Wednesday to Saturday. And I don't know if, what my schedule looks like next week. So, um, but all I can recap is Phoenix is coming up and I'm excited about that. Um, I'll update you guys on my work situation um, and my personal life the closer it comes to making that decision. Um, so, and next week, Chase is running that Mountain Dew scheme that he ran last year at Kansas where he won in. So, Here's here's to hoping we can get that win next week and have four wins this year and seven total, which would be amazing. So um, I have total confidence in my driver. Um, and Chase fans, don't be afraid to be passionate about cheering on Chase, and because people are just gonna tear you like just get in your head and tear you down if you show any sort of emotion for your your driver. So. Don't be afraid to show some love for your driver because every fan base is nutcases. So, anyway, have a good night. I'm going to enjoy my day tomorrow, my birthday. Um, so, again, guess how old I am. If you guess it right, I'll like your comment or whatever. So, um, I'll see you guys later.